Hi everyone, Zach Pekoff here, and welcome back to another lesson video. Today, I will be showing you how to find the least common multiple. So let's jump right into the video. Alright, so the way that we're going to be finding the least common multiple of two numbers is first by listing out the multiples of each number, and then finding the least common number that falls between the two. So let's try a few problems together. Okay, so this first problem reads, find the least common multiple of 9 and 12. So the way that we're going to solve this is first by listing out the multiples of each number. The multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 80, and the list will keep going on from there. And the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, and obviously the list would keep going on from there. So it looks to me that the least common number that falls between the two is 36. Therefore, the least common multiple, or LCM for short, is 36, because it is the smallest number that falls between the two. And that is how to solve this problem. So let's hop on to another one. Alright, so this next problem reads, find the least common multiple of 5 and 6. So the way that we're going to solve this is like we did before, first we're going to list out the multiples of each number. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and obviously the list would keep going on from here. And the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, and obviously, as I said, the list would keep going on from here. So it looks to me that the least common number that falls between the two is 30. Therefore, the LCM is 30. Because it is the least common number that falls between the two. And that is how to solve this problem. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this next problem reads, find the least common multiple of 13 and 26. So the way that we're going to solve this is like we've been doing before. First, we're going to list out the multiples of each number. The multiples of 13 are 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, 78, 91, 104, and obviously the list would keep going on from here. And the multiples of 26 are 26, 52, 78, 104, 130, 156, 182, and obviously, as I said before, the list would keep going on from here. So it looks to me that the least common number that falls between the two is 26. Therefore, the least common multiple of 13 and 26 is 26, because it is the least common number that falls between the two. And that is how to solve this problem. So I'm going to be doing a couple more with you guys. All right, so this next problem reads, find the least common multiple of 10 and 15. So the way that we're going to solve this is like we've been doing in these last few problems. First, we're going to list out the multiples of each number. The multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and the list would keep going on from here. And the multiples of 15 are 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, and as I said, the list would keep going on from here. So it looks to me that the least common number that falls between the two is 30. Therefore, the least common multiple of 10 and 15 is 30. Because it is the smallest number that falls between the two. And that is how to solve this problem. So I'm going to be doing one more with you guys. Alrighty, 
So this last problem reads, find the least common multiple of 8 and 9. So the way that we're going to solve this is like we've been doing before in these last few problems. First, we're going to list out the multiples of each number. The multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, and the list would keep going on from here. And the multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, and as I said, the list would keep going on from here. So it looks to me that the smallest number that falls between the two is 72. Therefore, the LCM of 8 and 9 is 72, because it is the least common number that falls between the two. And that is how to solve this problem. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you did and are a new member to my channel, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!